guys, bunker play. One of the one of the most feared topics in golf, so let's get started. So bunker play, you've landed in the hazard off the tee, you're not really sure, you're sort of giving yourself negative vibes before you actually enter the sand. So here's a couple of things that's going to help you hopefully divert your attention to a more positive outcome if that makes sense. So number one fault I see in golf is when people try and help the ball out of the bunker. So what I mean by that is if I was to draw a straight line directly kind of in line with the camera lens, fault number one is when people address the ball and what happens is if you pay attention to my shoulders, see how my shoulders are nice and level there, what happens is a lot of people get this right side going too low on the way through. See there how my left shoulder is higher than my right? And what that has a tendency to do is it allows, it makes the club work up too early. My waist is back, we throw the wrists at the golf ball almost in this action. So think of that line. We make contact with that line almost on top of that line. So almost in that position. So with bunker play it's slightly different. If we were to draw that line again, then for me to make contact with the club before that line, what I need to do is I need to get my weight on my front foot, okay? So, the biggest fault I see is when people get this right shoulder too low, which creates a lot of inconsistencies. So, what we need to do is start off with set, right? So, how do we get into a better position? And it's going to make us trick, get the bunker 100% of the time. So. When it comes to bunker play, you don't want to hit the same shot twice. So, we're going to draw that line again. So we set up to the ball. We want the ball slightly forward of centre. Okay, so the reason why I've drawn this line is that's where we want to make contact with the ground. We're not too far, we're not too worried about the ball. If we get the, the club entering the sand properly, then what's going to happen is the ball's going to naturally lift up in the air. So, from there, we're standing nice and wide. So we're standing really wide. That just helps us just get a little bit more stability and helps us keep balance, right? So we're drawing that line again. And then we're focusing on our drill. We're just focusing on hitting that line, okay? So we're hitting through that line. That's a good drill to kind of focus on the low point of the club hitting the ground, okay? So we're not dragging onto this angle where the sand, we're making contact in front of that line. So set up in the middle of your feet from there. We're focusing on that sand, okay? We're hitting through that sand. The minute you put a ball in there, that's kind of where a lot of golfers try and hit the ball too hard, try and help it in there. So, two things to take from this video. We need to stand a little bit wider, okay? That's the setup. We need to draw a line. So in order for us to hit that the behind that line, we have to move weight forward. If we were to move our weight back, then what's going to happen is we're going to hit in front of that line. So our weight goes left. Our right shoulder has to go a little bit higher than our, our left shoulder, okay? We're not getting in this position where the right shoulder's too low. Set up to the ball, right shoulder's higher. We're hitting the we're hitting the line behind the golf ball, okay? And we do that by getting the ball positioned a little bit further forward. So, weight left, we're hitting through that line, through that line. That's gonna help you focus on low point control. So guys, any thoughts on that video, remember, we draw the line in the middle of our feet. And the idea is we want to make contact with that line to keep the club head moving through impact. Any thoughts on that video, post your comments below, like the video. Remember, weight has to go left, stand wider, and from there we're hitting through that line. That's the most important part about it.